What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mad About Toys. If you don't follow the Mad Hatter reviews, I don't know what the fuck uh -oh. you're doing. Get over and subscribe to that guy. But yesterday, he put out a video that he got the comic Slash, and he got it from AliExpress. Well, I think it was his friend's figure. I, I don't know. But anyways, I jumped on AliExpress and seen if I could grab this figure... And sure enough, it was available in stock and at a great price with shipping. So I jumped on that and I ordered it. Says it'll be here by September 13th. I have my doubts, my reservations. I've only bought from AliExpress one time before. And it was quite a long time ago as a pop figure. And it never showed up. Luckily, I got my money back from Visa. I'm not sure if it was AliExpress at the time, but I got my money back. So all was good. Never ordered from them since, so this will be the first time. Great price, like I said, for uh, to get this figure in Canada and with shipping. I really hope I get it because it looks awesome. But I did get something official from NECA. Here it is. Let's check out this unboxing here and see what we got. I'm going to open it. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Yo, Soggy Ojimbo's in the box. Oh boy, am I excited for this figure. Potential figure of the year, in my opinion. Let's crack this thing open. Standing at about five and a half inches tall with his ears up and about four and a half inches tall with his ears down. All right, we got Yosagi Ojimbo out of the package and wow, I don't know if there's any company that makes it more difficult to take their figures out of the package than NECA. I would be grateful if they just stuffed the, all the accessories in a Ziploc baggie in the back of the package. I don't know about you guys. Maybe the mint on card uh, collectors or in box collectors in, in this case would have something to say about that. But this figure's been out for a while, so I'm not going to go into an in depth review. I usually get my neck of figures later than uh, people in the US. Just because I order them directly from NECA. Well, this is the first time I've tried AliExpress for a, a NECA Ninja Turtle. We'll see if I get that by September 13th. Wow, that'd be incredible. I would uh, be ordering from them going forward. As they do end up in China first, these figures. This won't be a knockoff if I do get it. I think there's a good good chance I don't get it over the fact that I get it and it's a knockoff. That would just be too quick of uh, them to produce these knockoff figures and boxes and things like that nature. But like I mentioned, I think this might be one of the best action figures of the year. This guy is incredible. Sure, he might be small, but he packs quite a punch. I absolutely love this figure. So it comes with a lot of accessories here. As you can see, his hat there. You just can take off his ears on either of the head sculpts here. And uh, yeah, choose which face you want to go with. Ears up or ears down. And neutral expression or angry expression angry expression from me all day long but this figure he moves around great for being so small uh if you've seen the reveals this week of howard the duck by marvel legends he's basically a pvc figure and this guy has great articulation and, and probably the same height now we are talking now probably a ten dollar difference so I would expect more from Hasbro and the Marvel Legends team. But this guy is definitely in my running for action figure of the year. It's going to be a NECA, no doubt about it. That's just the way it goes. NECA is my favorite collection by far. 
GI Joes would be second, and the uh, DC Multiverse third, I suppose. Marvel Legends coming in fourth. Let's get uh, one of his competitors for action figure of the year in there. Quite a different size difference. Anthrax here towering over Yosagi. Look at that amazing figure. Wow. I really, <laughs> if size is any indicator, this guy should be a action figure of the year. Lots of accessories as well. But just something about this guy. He was one of my favorite action figures as a kid in the original Playmates line. I never thought he'd be in NECA, as uh, I don't think uh, Playmates, or sorry, uh, Ninja Turtles own the rights to him. So it's a different uh, comic book, a different writer. Stan, uh, I can't think of his last name at the moment. But what a fantastic figure. Let's get a Ninja Turtle in there. We'll put Raphael in here. And he is small, so no point in really uh, measuring up against Marvel Legends and all different kind of figures. Because he is on the smaller side, even with the NECA. Ninja Turtles, which are smaller figures to begin with. But he comes with this dinosaur. Sorry if the dinosaur has a name. This one here is an inch and a half tall. No articulation whatsoever. But uh, good throw in there. I'll have to refresh my memory of what this guy's name is and what connection he has to Yosagi. So, did you guys pick this figure up? If you didn't, and you're a Ninja Turtles fan, I highly recommend you did. You do, sorry. But I'd imagine you did already. Let me know in the comments section, what do you guys think of this figure? Are you picking it up? Are you picking up that Slash figure? Oh man, I can't wait to get that one. Can't wait to get that Ray Filet in the Archie comic version as well. Wow. Absolutely incredible figures coming up by NECA. NECA kills it with these Ninja Turtle figures. I don't think there's a better company that's putting out better quality action figures for the money than NECA with these Ninja Turtle action figures. You might not be a Ninja Turtle fan or a NECA fan, but if you're an action figure collector, you got to give them the respect that they deserve as these figures are absolutely awesome. But that'll do it, everyone. If you could, subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button. Drop me a comment. Hit that notification bell. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching this one, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. All done the video.